to uh, another story that we're covering here on France 24, uh, the uh, attacks in Tunisia on Friday. The father of the man who shot dead 38 holidaymakers on a Tunisian beach has told France 24 that his son was brainwashed. Saifuddin Rezgui was a university graduate. Friends have described him as a discreet young man. Now, uh, his father, Hakim, has told our reporters that Islamist extremists turned his son into a killer. I am shocked. They brainwashed my son. He was studying well. He was about to graduate. He was cultured. And some people came and brainwashed him. He abandoned his father and his mother. Later on today, the British, French and German interior ministers will all travel to the scene of those killings in Tunisia. The process of identifying all of the victims is still underway. So far, 15 have been confirmed as British citizens. On Sunday night, tourists and locals in Sousse, where the attack happened, held a candlelit vigil on the beach. We, we all are one, we all are love here. Yeah. And what happened here, it was exactly against life, against the democracy and against people to, to live their life. You feel for the people what live here as well. You know what I mean, the people what live here has got to li stop here. We we can go home and feel it for them, but when we go home, then people what stay here have got to feel it all their life. Well, several people are still in a serious condition in hospital with gunshot wounds. Many more have been flown out to receive medical care in their home countries. France 24's Chris Moore reports now from Seuss. Well, as of Sunday evening, we've been told by authorities that six people remain in a serious condition in hospital here in Seuss. The vast majority of the injured have now been repatriated, many of them, of course, to the United Kingdom. Now, authorities there have launched one of their biggest counter-terrorism operations since the 2005 attacks on London. There have been officers deployed at airports to interview potential witnesses returning from Tunisia. There's a UK police team already on the ground here. More officers are expected to follow. Now, in terms of that investigation, the message from the Tunisians really is that the government did act alone, but they did at some point have help, and it's going to be a headache for them tracking down the background and contacts of somebody who they say was up until now very much off their radar. Hence this advice from the British that further attacks are possible perpetrated by people not known to the security forces here in Tunisia. Although the overall advice from the UK and from most Western countries remains by all means travel, come here, enjoy your holidays, but remain vigilant.